All right, hey guys, this is going to be a quick video on uh, installing Chess Base 15. Um, but I'm doing it on a Mac, and I'm doing it with uh, a virtual virtualization software called Parallels. Um, I've been playing around with it a little bit over the past few days, and actually, um, I'm a Mac user, and I think, and I've been really hoping for a Mac version of Chess Base over the years, but apparently that's not going to happen. So the next best thing is to use this virtualization software to install it, and um, it seems to be working pretty pretty awesome. Uh, I also have a Windows machine that I would use for Chess Base, but I'm hoping to just get everything on my Mac, and then I don't have to worry about dealing with the Windows machine anymore. So uh, here we're in Parallels. As you can see, uh, it's it's a free trial right now. I haven't bought it, uh, but you can download it for 14 days and try it out. Um, it's pretty awesome. So uh, it's it's fast. It's snappy. It, there's no lag. Uh, I used to use this stuff years ago, and it, it was very it was very laggy and not the best quality. But right, you know, since I've been using it, it's it's pretty darn good. So uh, so like I said, you're going to see this buy button up here. That's because I'm on the trial for now. I'm going to buy it uh, eventually after my trial's up. Um, so here we are on the chess base website and uh, all you got to do pretty much is if you're buying the download version of course uh, this is for the download version if you buy the CDs and have them mailed to you it's going to be a little bit of a different process um, you're going to be just inserting each CD I'm not even sure how many it comes with these days it's a lot of information um, I'm not a big CD guy so I just go with the downloads these days so you're on the main chess base site here. You're just gonna uh, make sure you're logged in. So here I am, I'm logged in, TM Casper, and then I'm gonna go ahead to, to shop. And there's a little section in shop if you're logged in called My Downloads. Uh, you wanna just click on that and that's gonna list all of your downloads that you've um, bought with that account since you've had it. Uh, and as you can see here, I have um, some chess base 14 stuff uh, from a few years ago. And then I bought a bunch, of, I bought the premium package for Chess Base 15, which I'm going to download now. So I'm going to go ahead and download the 64 bit version. Save that to my desktop. I'm also going to download my Mega Database 2019. Of course, these, uh, I'm not going to give you guys my software key, so that's blurred out. <laughs> I'm going to download the correspondence database and the player database. And it's going to take a few minutes, so I think I'm going <clears> to <throat> just pause the video here and then come back when that stuff is downloaded. All right, we're back, and go ahead and just click on just Everything's downloaded. It took about 20 minutes, so you want to just go ahead and click on Chess Base 15. Uh, one other thing you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want to copy... Um, your serial so that when uh, the when it prompts you for that serial number it should automatically fill in so you want to add that to your um, it's a little tricky here with this virtualization software so you want to copy that um, and see if that gets entered automatically <clears throat> and it does that's good to go so click next I always just install into the default, so program files, uh, just keep the defaults, and go ahead and install. That should take a few minutes. All right, looks like it's all finished up, and it's going to ask us again for activation. So just enter in what it's asking you. Click OK. And the activation was successful. Good to go. Click OK. I want to quit that. Now we're going to fire it up. I always like to add it to my taskbar here. All right, do you want to install additional components for TCasper? Um, I'm not actually sure what it's installing here, but I'm going to click yes, of course. Um, 
Now you're going to see something a little different here for destination folder. You're going to see something like a C drive, um, maybe home, and then your username. This is all. This is showing what it's showing here because I'm running again the Parallels virtualization software. So uh, you're pretty much probably going to want to just accept the, the default there unless you know uh, your way around Windows pretty well. All right, if you have a, um, well, you should have a Chessbase account if you bought Chessbase, so you want to go ahead and sign in. If you want to be signed in for um, Chessbase's playing uh, program, playchess.com. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign in quick. Now, I don't really use playchess.com that much, but I like to be signed in just in case. <clears throat> Okay, so as you can see here, everything's installed. Um, this is basically what you're going to see in a fresh install. Now, I have um, the Mega Database here already because I had this installed before and I uninstalled it uh, just for the, these uh, this demonstration. So <clears throat> it's still there. You're going to see probably just this Best Games for Replay Training and Clip Database, which both should be empty. Or actually, Best Games, this is, I think, what just installed when it... Uh, asked you that question when you first fired it up so this is basically it, it, uh, it where we're going to start from and uh, we'll, we'll um, go ahead in the next video I think and start talking about the mega database and start working through the interface and learning how to use all this uh, awesome software thanks for watching